Staring at the void too long My blue skies have turned black And the creepers that you cut down From my walls have all grown back Tomorrow runs ahead just like An old way through the wood It's been trodden many times before It's now clear Theme that we wanted to do as we're down by the water. Yep. Good. Um, so good. I have the main floor plan here. Uh, we're going to incorporate the loft like you wanted to do. Um, so you walk in from the foyer. We're going to keep the existing foyer and the existing bathroom. Right. We're going to extend the bathroom out. In my by head, the I played the part of the lover who was stunned and innocent, abandoned in the dark when he was young. When I see more clearly through the lies of my little play. Well, I'm glad the church will have a new home and a new face lift. And uh, if there's music here, that's all to the good too. I believe that music is good for the soul. Here, Tim, what's the vision for, are you going to put a door in or something? Uh, I'm contemplating two things. One, a door out to a sitting area. Yep. The other thing is actually uh, incorporate an aquarium right into the wall. Okay. So it'll be a little bit of a focal point. Fish yeah. was the symbol of Jesus Christ. That's true. Lord, so it's that's perfect. true. And what about up here? What's So that's going to be all open. Okay. Uh, here we're going to have a stage. Used to be the altar. Yep. I've got a grand piano. It's going here. Nice. We've got other instruments that we're bringing in, antique. Way back, way, way back, in the 30s and what have you, in the 20s possibly, it was all, everybody traveled by water, and this is how we built, had this thing, this church made so people could get off their boats and, and, and have some prey time. What about back here? Uh, we've got uh, a couple of options, but do uh, you know those garage doors with all glass? Yeah. That is one option. Okay. Yeah, so it'll be keeping that window and the far window and taking out the middle window. Okay. And it'll be all glass on the back here. My grandmother, Betty Reed, attended this church for many, many years. Faithfully came to the church every Sunday for probably the last 40 years of her life. She sat in the third pew from the altar. I have the pew in my basement now and I plan on stripping it back to the original shape and having it downstairs as a memory to my grandma. St. Paul's was closed on the same day that my grandma passed away. She attended this church her entire life, and the final day that it was a church um, was her final day, too. The, the warmth of the people, the, the absolute commitment to their church, and there was a sense of ownership there. We're, we're all in this together, we're small, we have to, we have to, to stay in the ring, we're gonna have to fight for it. Uh, and uh, yeah, they, they just were not gonna let go. So, so they fought for their church in a sense, and, uh, and that's why they endured so very long.
I, I, I don't want to be melodramatic, but I, I think that the, the church just sort of came to an end, not with a bang, but a whimper kind of thing. You know, just kind of quietly, we, we dispersed into the, into the night. to real estate and going in and out of houses and buildings and, and seeing what's out there and knowing the whole uh, scene, he'd uh, see something and think, wow, that's a great opportunity. Aunt kids would be around the dinner table, we'd be having dinner, and he'd, he'd pipe up, guess what I bought today? And I'd say, uh, I don't know. He'd say, well, I bought a house. And I'll say, where? And he'd tell me where, and I said, is that for you or is that for me? Like, I wasn't quite sure where we were going with that. He said, no, it's just an opportunity to um, have an investment. In hindsight, I should have consulted with Judy and maybe the family on what I was up to, but um, in the real estate business, things can happen quickly, and if you, if you wait too long, you might miss an opportunity. And the other thing is I wanted to surprise Judy. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> How do you say me you in the long grass? Something good at long last. And we're away. Next to me. Found you by the old tree Something we can both see And we're away Oh, let's run away And I know where we are going to Let's go far today And it's all gonna be wonderful Oh When we look at St. Paul's, it's, it's a building. It, it's a building, and it was a sacred space. But, you know, depending on your spirituality, all spaces are sacred. This is just one small corner of the world or, or this area that has been set aside for people to come and to worship God. And, um, I, 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 you know, from, from the way I see things, worship takes place in many, many different ways and forms. And, uh, and, and venues. So um, the fact that, that this church is being used rather than demolished and being used to, uh, for, for people who are either making music or, or just having a good time, I think is, is just absolutely stellar.
It's, it's entirely human that people get, get deeply attached to the objects in the church or to the building itself and, uh, and, and may lose sight of the fact that it's the community and the community spirit. The church is always the, the people. And I hope that they will come to see what Tim is doing and uh, when it's, when it's, maybe he'll have an open house for anybody who wants to come and, uh, and, and see this revisioned uh, building and enjoy it and celebrate the fact that it's, it's, it's still there. The kind of grounded, simple, down-home quality of going into this little church and seeing familiar faces and uh, <clears throat> the children might be just uh, running around uh, really cross-generational. It, it was, the whole church was like a warm embrace. Tim, uh, I gotta hand it to you. Congratulations. Well, thanks. Yeah, amazing job. Turned out uh, almost exactly as you said it would. It's, it's really come together, hasn't it? Um, the aquarium that you talked about, I got very excited. I'm a big uh, fish, fish guy. Fish guy. Where is the aquarium? The aquarium. Is that it there? No, that's a fireplace. Oh, okay. The aquarium is still to come, it's in phase two. The other high point, uh, I hope, is the garage door. So you talked about a, a louver door, maybe, and a chance to, you know, let the let the light in. What, where is yeah. that? Uh, we decided against the garage door. We didn't want to have a, a like a drive-through uh, church. I find church a little long, so a drive-through church would be a very good idea. I, I was going to do garage doors, but as we were building it out, we made a change and we decided on a two, three panel glass doors behind you. Okay, nice. Yeah. That is a nice, nice touch. Yeah, so it lets lots of light in. The garage doors just wouldn't work with this concept with the cathedral ceiling. Okay. So none of the things that I was excited about uh, turned out. So this is, I mean, it's a disappointment to me. Are you disappointed with, with the results? <laughs> you find this, Tim? I mean, uh, are you crying? I'm sorry. Can I get a tissue. Someone have a tissue?